Wouldn't it be cool to kind of be that creepy person that just carries a little flask with you and then every now and then you just take a little swig of MCT oil right when you know it's the perfect time? Okay, well, that would be weird, something I would do, but the reality is there are specific times that you can take MCT oil to get different benefits. So I have five of them for you and these are heavily researched. They didn't just pull these out of nowhere. So let's go ahead and dive in. First and foremost, the benefit of MCT oil all comes down to how fast it absorbs. Plain and simple. We can manipulate this and use it to our advantage. Now, MCT oil does a lot of other things that we're going to talk about, but the main thing is it goes directly into the liver really fast, can stimulate ketone production very fast, but it can also sort of reprioritize what the body wants to use as fuel because it absorbs so fast. So let's dive into what that means. So the first case would be if you are fasting. Now, don't turn off this video. I've got plenty of things that are not related to fasting too. But if you are someone that intermittent fasts, consuming MCT oil prior to starting your fast, like with your last meal, or in some specific cases, even during a fast, might help you out. You see, when you are fasting, it takes you a number of hours into your fast before you start really producing ketones. Now, you don't always fast for ketones. Okay, I know plenty of people that fast just because they feel good and they like it and it's easier. But if you're not fasting for ketone production, maybe you should consider it because ketones during a fast give you all kinds of different benefits. Deacetylase inhibition, beta hydroxybutyrylation, all these other effects on the cells that are really cool that I don't need to talk about today. The problem is we don't start getting higher levels of ketones during a fast until we're like 12, 14, 16 hours into a fast. So in order to have the prolonged exposure to ketones that we need to get that effect, we need to be fasting for like 20, 22, 24 plus hours to really be saturating the cells with ketones long enough to really get a solid benefit. Not saying that shorter fasts are bad, they're absolutely great, okay? But with MCTs, because no my cells have to be formed, I'll explain what that means, they just absorb quick, we can potentially drive ketone levels up higher. So first case scenario, I'm gonna talk about during a fast, just because it makes the case a lot easier. Okay, there is a study that was published in the journal Frontiers in Nutrition that found that taking in 20 grams of MCT oil ended up skyrocketing ketone levels from a baseline of one millimole all the way up to six millimoles. Okay, so that's not that much MCT oil driving up ketone levels super high, not dangerously high, but really just nicely high. Okay, well, this was after 12 hours being fasted. So what that shows is that, okay, well, when we are in a fasted state, we consume some MCT oil, it's going to bypass all the other sort of digestion that would occur with normal fats. MCTs are a total anomaly. They are digested way different. No pancreatic enzymes required, no bile salts required, no micelle formation required, no lymphatic system, just straight into the portal vein, into the liver. And in our liver, we have mitochondria. And those mitochondria are the epicenter. They are the main site for ketone formation, for ketogenesis. The quicker we can just push a fat directly into that mitochondria, the quicker we can actually create ketones and not have to go through much digestion at all. So arguably not breaking a fast. I think they break a fast, but if you have MCT oil during a fast, you get yourself a whole different set of benefits. So occasionally have MCT oil during a fast. Sure, digestively it probably does break a fast, but you are going to drive your ketone levels up higher, which certainly counts for something, possibly something different. So, you know, you try it out. But what about right before you start your fast? Well, the journal Nutrition and Metabolism published a study that showed that when subjects consumed MCT oil right after a meal, their postprandial ketone levels still went up a little bit, although not nearly as much if in a fasted state or a ketogenic state, but even if they had carbohydrates, if you had some MCT oil afterwards, you could modestly drive up ketone levels, which tells us that if you were to consume MCT oil with your very last meal, maybe you could stimulate ketogenesis a little bit quicker. You're going to put yourself into a ketogenic state faster because you're upregulating the ketolytic enzymes, you're upregulating this whole ketogenic process in the liver by sort of kickstarting it and forcing it by hammering some unique small molecule fats into the liver saying, oh, guess we're going to produce ketones. And then that whole process is upregulated. So by the time you are deeper into a fast, you're much more efficient at it. So 
there's a couple cases right there. The next one is going to be with breakfast or lunch, and there's a very specific reason as to why. Now, I will say, I believe that most people that use MCT oil are using it during like breakfast time. It just makes sense. You add it to coffee, you add it to tea, things like that. The bottom line is this. We should be consuming 30 to 40% of our calories earlier on in the day. We respond to food better during daylight. Once the daylight is gone, we sort of lack some of the proper utilization enzymes and things like that. Basically, our genes are working in our favor if we're eating during daylight hours. So stacking more of your calories in the morning is what I would highly recommend, but that comes with a problem. The problem with that is you end up kind of hungry later on in the day as you're adapting to this. So MCT oil is a great way to get your calories in earlier in the day that can also stimulate a higher resting energy expenditure, a higher metabolic rate. So by having MCT oil as your source of additional calories where you can easily get two or 300 more calories from MCT oil in the morning, not only do you get more calories in the morning, but you're also increasing your resting energy expenditure because of how fast they burn. But additionally, according to the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition, you actually stimulate more of what is called peptide YY as well as leptin, which are like well-known and well-documented as huge satiety compounds. So when our body releases those, we are satiated. So thereby sort of limiting that hunger that's going to occur later in the day when you first start adding more calories in the morning. I recommend you try it. Even if it sounds crazy, I recommend adding MCT oil to add more calories earlier in the day. I know you're going to be fearful that you'll still overeat at night, but there's a good chance you won't because you'll be so satiated. Just try it. Trust me on that one. If you're wondering how to add MCT oil in or anything like that, I did put a link down below for Perfect Keto. They have a really good MCT oil powder, so that way you could mix it into yogurt, you can mix it into your coffee, you can mix it into tea, you can mix it into your oatmeal, you can do whatever. Even if you just, I mean, you're going to get still the calories with it, it's just in a powder form, it makes it a little bit easier. That way they sort of like dry it and make it so it's usable. So highly recommend them. They're a big sponsor and supporter on this channel. They have been for a number of years, but also I secured some discount for you as well. So that link down below in the description is going to save you a few bucks with Perfect Keto's MCT oil powder. They also have a bunch of different flavors. You don't have to get unflavored. You can get vanilla, you can do all this other stuff and have some fun with it. So again, use that special link down below and big thank you to Perfect Keto for being able to offer up an awesome discount for my viewers. Again, it's down below. Okay, this next one is for people that are suffering from a metabolic slowdown or just overall just metabolic dysfunction. Generally, you feel you're getting older, you feel like your metabolism might be slowing down a little bit, some of the things aren't working the way they used to, maybe your lipid panel isn't the way it was. Well, MCT oil might be perfect for you and some newer research sort of suggests that. So the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition had published that MCT oil seems to decrease glucose levels, plasma glucose levels, but also plasma triglyceride levels. Why is it unique or cool when we can decrease both of those at the same time? Well, when both of those are elevated at the same time, it indicates that our liver is a little bit overwhelmed. You see, if glucose goes up really high, the liver has to deal with it. And if it's overwhelmed with it, then glucose still remains high, but the liver ends up turning some of the extra glucose into triglycerides, which are eventually gonna get stored as fat, but even worse, could get well, stored other places that can make us very sick, right? So we don't want high glucose and high triglycerides. That is like a very clear marker of metabolic dysfunction and ultimately poor health, if you ask me. Okay, well, it's interesting because if MCT oil seems to bring both of those down, well, we could be having something really cool happening here. And the reason that that is probably happening, and this is somewhat hypothesized because we don't know for sure, is probably because it's shifting the body into fatty acid utilization, fatty acid oxidation versus glucose oxidation or glucose utilization. Now, it's kind of wild because a lot of times if that glucose level stays really high and the triglyceride levels stay really high, it can contribute to a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which we definitely don't want. I'll do a separate video on that topic in and of itself. But there's a second component that we have to pay very close attention to. Okay, the Journal of Molecular Sciences had published something, and this one was done in pigs because there's not a lot of conclusive research in humans yet on this, but it found that lipopolysaccharides, which are pathogenic material that leak out of our, our intestinal tract into our bloodstream. It happens to all of us. It's not something that's like, oh my gosh, only happens if you have a leaky gut. We all have a certain degree of lipopolysaccharides that leak through. Well, in this study with pigs, they found that when lipopolysaccharides leaked through, it triggered severe liver damage. Now, it's not to say that that's definitely going to happen in humans, but very similar GI tracts, there's probably a good chance. So you're triggering some liver damage by having lipopolysaccharides, probably just because of the inflammatory response. Well, when given MCT, it was very interesting what happened. MCT oil not only attenuated the injury to the liver, but it also quelled the inflammatory response. 
So meaning not only were we like potentially stopping the damage to the liver, but we were slowing down the inflammatory response that can happen systemically in the whole body as a result of these lipopolysaccharides. Why? More than likely because MCT oil inhibits what are called toll-like receptors. Toll-like receptors are kind of like the name implies. They're like little toll booths. And what happens is when something inflammatory passes through it, the toll booth says, hey, 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 what are you doing? Do not pass go. Uh-oh, you're bad. I'm going to signal inflammatory cascade. <laughs> Boom. Inflammation throughout your body. Problems, right? Okay, well, less toll-like receptors means that there's a line of lipopolysaccharides trying to get through the toll booth, but only one toll operator able to signal an inflammatory cascade. Therefore, your body has time to deal with those lipopolysaccharides before they ever actually signal the whole cavalry to come in and attack. Pretty interesting stuff. Now, another one. Maybe you're trying to get what's called fat adapted which I think everyone should be, whether you're keto or not. Getting fat adapted allows your body to be pretty good at being dual fueled, using two kinds of fuel. Fat when it wants to, it's fat adapted, or glucose when it wants to. The International Journal of Obesity and Related Metabolic Disorders took a look at a group of overweight women, okay? And they made them eat, well, I shouldn't make them eat, but they gave them a bunch of MCT oil so that it made up about 20% of their daily allotment of calories compared to a control group. Well, the group that had 20% of their calories coming from MCT lost significantly more weight than the other group. What's happening here? Well, it was probably attributed to the greater increase in resting energy expenditure, okay, and also more fatty acid oxidation. So more fat was being oxidized. When MCT oil was introduced, the body just said, oh, fat is a viable fuel source. Let's start using this. We're gonna upregulate all the kind of enzymatic processes to use fat. So basically the body got fat adapted very quick because of the influxion of MCT oil coming in there. And then the resting energy expenditure increases, which means that the basal cal calories that are burned during the course of the day went up. And that probably had to do with a documented increase in uncoupling proteins that MCT can drive. Uncoupling proteins allow the body to basically dissipate more energy as heat rather than turn around and store it. So instead of storing it, you burn it as heat. MCT oil has been demonstrated to do that. Now, conclusive connected to this study, who knows, but still a viable response, right? This next one is my personal favorite because I'm all about performance. Like I used to be super overweight. I love the weight loss side of things. I get it. But now I shifted gears and I focus on performance a little bit for me. There's an interesting study published in Nutritional Science and Vitaminology that found that MCT oil before a workout actually blunted the lactate response. It lowered lactate levels. Now, I enjoy training fasted. So where this could be applicable is having MCT oil before a race or before a competition or before any kind of workout that you're aiming for performance as the anomaly. So we want lactate. Okay, the old school stuff used to say lactic acid, bad, lactate response, bad. It's the burn and it's, it's, it's bad. It means the end of your workout. Well, now we realize that lactate is a hormetic stressor, right? When we expose ourselves to pain during a workout from lactic acid or lactate, it means that we are adapting. It's sending a signal to the brain and establishing new signals and establishing new growth and power. So we want to be able to push that lactate threshold and be able to get better at it, right? But when we're performing, we're racing, we don't want that, right? We want to be able to push through that. So train, train, train in a fasted state. Allow your body to develop lots of lactic acid and lactate response, okay? But if we see that MCT oil can actually lower the lactate response, it might allow us to use that in a performance setting to get more out of our workout or out of our competition at that time. This likely had to do with higher fatty acid oxidation once again. When our body is using more fats, it's gonna produce less lactate. Glucose burning is gonna produce more of a lactate response. So since the body was forcefully shifting over to this fast absorbing MCT oil, well, there was less of a lactate response. What's interesting is they also found that it prolonged how hard people could push. So they could push it harder at high intensity for a longer period of time. Well, this probably had something to do with the fact that glycogen was spared. You add MCT oil into the mix, the body's gonna forcefully use that MCT oil first, burn through that, and then you have glycogen left over to carry you a little bit further instead of immediately starting with your glycogen. So you go MCT oil, burn that for a little while, then, oh, now I've got a body full of glycogen to burn up carbohydrates. So you can go for a little bit longer period of time. But I cannot overemphasize enough, training, Training should be done trying to stimulate lactate. That's why I love BFR training and trying to create a little bit of a pain, right? I want that, I want to be, and then when it comes time to compete, boom, then do whatever I can to go for performance. So anyway, there's five ways for you to use MCT oil. I know this was a lengthy one, but as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. 
See you tomorrow.